Hi guys, welcome back to Jeanette and Her Puzzles. Today I'm doing a really special puzzle and it was actually gifted to me and I literally just received it so I decided I'm not gonna wait for the next puzzle haul video and I'm just gonna show it to you now. So the company is called Wooden City and they're based in Poland so they told me I can pick any puzzle I want and they actually have 2D puzzles and they've got 3D me mechanical puzzles as well so I just decided to go for a normal flat 2D puzzle because the other ones look so complicated I, don't, I wasn't sure if I'm actually gonna be able to do them so yeah I decided to go easy first maybe later I'm gonna decide to go for something more extreme but for now I've just got this 2D puzzle and I'm really excited to open it I've been so looking forward to, to receiving it so yeah I'm so happy to show it to you now so here's the box and I'm ready to open it now. Oh, how cute is that? Oh my God. That's a really nice box actually. So you can see the design. I ordered Mystic Tiger and you can see the animal pieces that they've got on it. So this is 500 pieces. And the box is made entirely, I think, out of cardboard because it's a eco-friendly at the top and it says no to plastic. They also have the logo printed on it and it actually says that it's two-in-one double-sided puzzle. So it looks like there's some sort of pattern in the back. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Maybe I can do it other way around as well. It's almost a shame to open it, it's so pretty, but let's do that. More unpacking. Okay, so it has a picture inside, so you can see what you're putting together. And then there's a bag with all the puzzles inside. I can already see the special patterns. So I've just got a deer here. Oh, that's so pretty. How adorable is that? Come on. The quality of the pieces is actually really good. So with the other wooden puzzle I did, the picture was quite thick on it, so it started to separate on some places. But with this one, it seems like the picture on it is really thin. It's almost like it's painted on it, which I think it's really good because it doesn't seem like it would fall off anytime soon. And the picture is very clear as well. So I'm really excited to put this puzzle together. It seems like all of the pieces are completely different to each other. I don't think the two pieces are the same. It's gonna be quite interesting to put this together. And the back has a really nice pattern. That's why it said it's a double-sided puzzle. It actually smells really nice. It's almost like it smells like, you know, when you cut wood. It's really nice. It's a strange way to say that the puzzle has a nice smell, but it actually does have a nice smell. Okay, so far everything looks really good. The quality is good. The smell is nice. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to putting it together. So I think it's time to do the sorting now. I just finished the sorting and it was actually quite hard. The only reason I knew what the edge pieces were is because of the colored outline that goes around because a lot of the pieces don't actually have like specific puzzle shape so they just have like some sort of curved lines and you don't know like is this the inside or is it the outside so yeah the colored line around the rainbowy one really saved me because I wouldn't have known what the edge pieces were otherwise but I've seen quite a lot of animals which is really cute like we've got a couple of dogs we have a sausage dog come on that's brilliant and it's got elephants some horses I think dolphin shark crocodile um, kangaroo as well so yeah it's really cool and the animals are not just the cutouts they even have the tiny face that's drawn on them which is really cute so I'm yeah, really looking forward to putting this puzzle together it's bringing me a lot of joy already but there are some pieces that are so tiny I even named one a drumstick because it looks like a chicken drumstick and I think 
but this might make it quite hard to solve if I'm honest with you. I wasn't expecting pieces to look like that. I'm also going to put the company details in the description box if you want to check them out because they have some really amazing puzzles. The edge is complete. That was a very different experience than any other puzzle I've done so far. But it was sometimes really hard to know which pieces go together because if you had two pieces like this, they didn't necessarily actually locked in. So I had to go and search through the other sorted pieces to find the other puzzle that wasn't actually the edge piece, but it actually held both of them together. So yeah, I had to do a little bit of rearranging there. But it's really interesting, it's like, sometimes it's gonna lock in on two places, sometimes just one place, so you don't, you never know what you have to look for, which is interesting, I'm not used to that. But I think it really helped that the outline goes like in a rainbow color, so I knew I didn't have that many pieces to pick from, which made it a lot easier. And you kind of get used to how the puzzle goes together, I think you get a gist of it. Okay, so I've put a little bit of the puzzle together so far. And it's really hard because you cannot have any system with doing this puzzle. You cannot sort it by shapes. You cannot do anything with it. So it's basically just like deciding to start somewhere and just try to look for the pieces that would fit in that section. But it's really hard to see the picture on it because the pieces are shaped so uniquely that sometimes you can't even know what you're looking for. It's, it's really hard to explain. I think it's like one of those things that you just need to try to see what I'm talking about. I don't know. Anyway, I think it's easier to go by shape than it is going by color in this case. I think I've done enough puzzle now to realize that you actually know where the animal is gonna come just by the shape of other pieces. So I decided I'm just gonna sort the animal pieces in one section because then it's easier to just look through them. And it's so cute because you just see like a little nose and you're like, oh, which animal is that? And then you see some paw prints and you see a tail and just like, animal pieces are the best. They're like easiest to find and the most satisfying to put in. So I love them. I think it's fair to say that there's quite a lot of searching with this puzzle because normally with other puzzles you would have a few pieces that look almost the same and you would just go and try them in but with this one it's like the sections are so specific that you have to memorize how the pattern looks like and then you just go through all of the puzzles and you just scan through the puzzles to see which one is gonna go in. So I think that's taking quite a long time because obviously there's no system, there's no shape sorting and stuff so it's a bit confusing going through all the pieces every time, but I think that's why it's taking quite a long time. Because I've done now, it's been an hour and I'm not even halfway through now. So yeah, that's definitely taking longer than I thought.
I still think it's a lot harder than what I thought it's going to be because, because when, when I ordered it, it I was like oh it's yeah, just like, 500 oh pieces that's going to take me a couple of hours and I'm like yeah I'm not sure that's going to be the case anymore I think it's going to take me quite a lot longer than that because I mean it's been quite a slow progress let's just say that I'm coming towards the end now and it's getting easier because there's less spaces to fill and there's less pieces to scan through so it's coming together quite nicely now but it took me this long to realize that all of the animals are actually turned in the right direction so I think it would be really helpful if I knew that in the beginning because then I would know how they should be turned from the start but oh well I know now for next time <laughs> It's time for the drumstick to go in. It's really interesting with this puzzle because I keep thinking that there are pieces missing because sometimes you're gonna have a section where there's puzzles missing and you're just gonna try to memorize it, go through all of the pieces and you cannot find it and you do it like two or three times and you still can't find it and you're just like, okay, what's happening now? And then I just had to take like literally like the smallest corner or something from the missing section and just focus on that and try to find it. And then you can realize that that section could, could be made out of like maybe two or even three puzzles. So yeah, that's quite confusing. I think. I think it's not gonna take me that long to finish this now and once I do finish I'm gonna take all the animal pieces out and put them separately so you can all see how cute they look because it's just too cute to miss out on I think. So the puzzle is complete and it looks really pretty. It looks so much better than on any of the pictures that I've seen. And I'm so happy that I chose it because I was indecisive between the two and I went for this one. So I'm quite happy that I made that decision. I'm really pleased with the quality of the puzzle. I think it's laser cut and the pieces fit in quite nicely. You know which ones go where. The one thing that I've noticed is if you, if you have like just one edge done, for instance, you can easily put the puzzle in but if you've got three edges done you have to kind of like make sure that the puzzle falls in from the top because otherwise it can go in on one side and not on the other so i think it's just because the puzzle moves around a little bit and that's also the reason i'm not going to be doing the pickup challenge because i don't think it's gonna stay together but that's not a big deal because puzzles are not supposed to be lifted anyway but overall i'm really pleased with this puzzle so i'm definitely going to be getting more from them in the future and now it's time for some cuteness overload. I put this puzzle on my Instagram story and I already had a lot of responses of how cute the puzzle is, even from some of my friends. 
So I think after my sister does it and some of my friends do it, I think I might put it on the wall because it's the first puzzle that I was gifted and it's really special for me. So I want to keep it, you know, for future. But that I'm not sure if I want to glue it because I would probably want to do it again. I don't know. It's a tough call. It's a tough call, definitely, because I really like the puzzle. So it would be a bit of a shame to glue it because then I wouldn't be able to do it again. But it's so pretty that I really want it on my wall. <laughs> but yeah, there's some thinking I'm gonna have to do. But anyway, if you wanna see the puzzle that my sister got me and I had to solve it without seeing the picture, just watch this video next. Bye.